So you're in this protected space that I, you know, I made an analogy between that and the Garden of Eden, or the city that Buddha was raised in. It's all protected and everything inside it is beautiful and functional. And that's by definition, because if your frame of reference is working properly, then what's within it is things you control that are functional and, 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 uh, and they're serving your purposes. So, when you're successful, you're in the Garden of Eden. That's one way of thinking about it. When, when the things that you're laying out in the world are delivering what they're supposed to deliver, that's what you inhabit. But the problem is, is that there's always a snake inside the garden. And it's, that's the story that's echoed in the story of Buddha. It's, in that case, it's Buddha's own curiosity that happens to be the snake. And you could actually say the same thing about human beings. Maybe it wasn't the snake. Maybe it was Eve's curiosity. They're the same thing in some sense. And so it's Buddha's curiosity that drives him outside the city to find disease and death and to blow apart his paradisal conceptualization of the world. And so, when we're looking at uni for universality, the first thing we might say is, well, you have a frame of reference that you've laid on the world. It's a story. You live inside a story. And the second thing we could say, and that's universally true, the content of the story can differ. That's okay. I don't care about that. It's the structural equivalence that I'm interested in. You live inside a story. And you have to because <clears throat> you have to live in something like that because you are goal-directed and you have to be and you have to simplify the world because there, you're just not enough of you to take into account everything at once in fact you can hardly take into account anything at once so you have to narrow things unbelievably and by narrowing and including only certain things you exclude virtually everything else so you're always in the problem in the situation where you have this little bounded universe that you inhabit, but outside of it is chaos itself and, <clears throat> and so that's the existential landscape order surrounded by chaos right, it's like a tree it's like the, the, the evolutionary home of primates the tree with the snakes on the ground that's, that's our landscape, or it's the fire for tribal people and the terrors of the forest that are beyond the that are beyond the the light that the fire casts it's explored territory versus unexplored territory and that's, that's an archetype as well that, that's, you can't not be in a situation where that's the case even if you're among friends you know you think that's explored territory that's not exactly right because what happens if you're among friends is that they carefully reveal new parts of themselves all the time so it's like they're blasting little elements of unexplored territory, you, territory at you constantly and if they don't, then what happens? you get bored and you look for new people 